Hello and welcome to my studio. My name's Tim Scott. Come in, grab a seat, the kettle's on, make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Um, there's no milk in the fridge, but if you want to go downstairs and get some, that'd be much appreciated. This is my studio. This is called Acer Studios. This is where I produce pretty much all my music. It's in the uh, back room of my apartment. I wanted to take you through a little bit of a track that I'm working on currently called Mr. Lilac, which is I'm really excited about this Ibiza vibe guitar track. I'll play you a little bit to start with. <laughs> Come on. So basically, um, as you can see, this is quite an analog studio. I don't have a computer at the center of things, although this is a digital desk with a hard disk recorder uh, built in it. It's 48K, 24 bit. I've got some old lexicons. I've got some valve mic preamps and EQs and stuff. Beautiful old Joe Meek. Um, I'm currently miking up all the lead guitar with a mid side kind of mic combination, which I've got set up in the hallway. The hallway is a beautiful atrium going up two stories, which means that it's got a beautiful reverb. So I'm very much a, a fan of, of using the ambience that's in the place that you're um, situated and making the most of it in the music that I create. So if I go back to the beginning there and show you a little bit of the rhythm guitar, the rhythm guitar has um, the ambience of the whole way added to it. It's originally a DI, which means plugging the guitar directly into the mixer. Then what I've done is I've taken that out of the mixer and played it back through a loudspeaker or a guitar amplifier in this case in the hallway out there, mic'd it up and put it back with the original signal. So if you have a listen to that, adds a real richness to it. I'm not a fan of having like 500 tracks open because I'm limited to 16 over here. Um, with with this system that I have, I can do submixes, which means I do eight pairs or 16 tracks, eight stereo pairs, should I say. It makes it a lot easier to mix. A lot of the top mix engineers mix to 16 or 24 tracks because it makes it much easier to balance a group of tracks via um, a, a bus or a submix, as it were. So if I play that rhythm guitar and then I add in, I've got like an XPX 90 type reverb on here. That fade is a bit sticky, it keeps staying up. So if I add in some of the reverb, and then the delay, which is time to 3 16th notes after the beat. Gives it that kind of dancey feel. Actually, if we go back to the beginning of the verse. Actually, this is really cool. If you do this, play at half speed. Oh yeah, that's right, right on. Anyway, um, so if we go back to the beginning of the verse, I'll highlight a little bit of the drums. I'm using the solo switch on the desk. This, when I highlight it, it makes the channels flash. And if I press the buttons of the channels I want to select, I can just hear those individually out of the mix without any effects on them. I think that's the drums. So we've got the drum mix. This drum mix is done in quite an organic way because I've actually taken the bass and snare drums and actually drawn them in. Then I've actually thrown them I've drawn them in, in, I've kind of done a loop of four or eight bars of kind of slightly out of time. So it's not perfectly in time, so it's a lot more human. I've then thrown it out in the hallway, added the ambience of the hallway on it. I actually got a snare drum in front of the speaker when I was reamping the snare drum. Hang on, stop that. And um, let that ring in the mix. I actually tuned it to the, the sound of the snare, so it added a bit of kung, kung to the kind of sound. Do you see what I mean? So it sounded a bit more lively, a bit more real. So if I throw that with the bass, I've got some lovely live bass on here. Uh, which way is the bass gone? It's five and six, so if we go. So again, that's re amped in the hallway through. I've got a vintage Sans amp preamp here, which adds a little, I can add a little bit of distortion, a bit of thickness. Put it with the drums. Rhythm guitars, lead guitar. With the lead guitar, 
And like I say, I've been using a, a huge 4 by 12 out in the hallway with a mid-side mic combination on it. I'll just do a cutaway of that so you can have a quick look at that. Um, I've been using this beautiful snakeskin guitar, which um, has been refretted recently with some stainless steel frets. Feels amazing, to be honest. Uh, uh, lovely, lovely, lovely guitar. So if we move on, I think one of the other exciting things was actually getting the wah wah out. So I got my wah wah pedal out. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. It's like a Roger Mayer wah wah with a carbon fiber board. These are quite rare now because I'm not sure he's making them anymore. It sounds amazing. So on the on the third verse, I got some wah wah guitar going on. So we've got to have a listen to that. I'll get there in a minute. There we go. Let's get the wild one. I've got to mix this down. The next process that I'm going to do on this track is to add in some percussion, um, things like live cymbals and shakers. And uh, I've got a tambourine around here somewhere. Hang on, I'll try and do this away from the mic. Anyway, I hope that wasn't too loud on the mic. So I love adding in um, lots of real sounds um, to enhance, to fill in the spaces, to fill in, to to uh, basically. Um, sort of dot, put the dot on the eye of the places in the in the piece where it really needs it this piece is called mr lilac so the story behind this piece was all about a photo shoot i did in london with a pink suit and i used that for the guitar master garden there was one photo that i didn't use that was really great of me dancing on the end of the pier actually with this snakeskin guitar and uh this was in front of the OXO building and the security guard comes out and goes, have you got a permit? Have you got a permit for that? And we're like, no, no, we haven't got a permit. We well, can't, you can't take any photographs here. You need to have a permit from, from the landlord, from the landowners. So um, we tried to get away with saying that we were just students doing a photo shoot. And he's like, you try to tell me that Mr. Larlick here dresses like this for fun. 